this is the uh, SimCat 5 um, uh, encoder system. You can set up uh, twisters which allow you to rotate and push buttons, and you can set them up to uh, many different functions on FlightSim um, as you would need. Okay, this is uh, SimCat 5. I just want to show you how easy it is to set up. Um, we have uh, rotary twisters, so you can uh, do rotary controls on your aircraft, and you can do a push button on the end. We also have a range of uh, switches, which I'll show you setting up as well. Um, so, as you can see down here, as I twist the knob, you can see the A and B channels flashing away, so I know which port I need to configure. So I can then select from the pull down list. So that's going to be now one at yes, which is that one there. So that now will correctly adjust nav one ABS and you can see it updated there. Do that again with this one here. This is on port two. It's this one flashing away. Let's set that one to nav two ABS or VOR2. There we go. And so now that gives us nav two ABS. Okay. Uh, each um, twist also has a push button on the end. Um, what we'll do with this one, you can see it's coming up as channel C on here. We're just going to configure that as a push to turn so that you don't change the setting accidentally. So we go right to the bottom of the list and select push to turn. Now if I turn the knob, nothing gets changed. But if I push and turn, it changes. Just like you would on a real knob on a real aircraft. With SimCat 5, it's very, very easy to trim an aeroplane. If I, basically, if I pull up to, until we're doing 80 knots, you can see that if I just trim and trim, the aircraft is now flying hands off at 80 knots. For the flight sim enthusiast with a limited budget, SimCat 5 provides an affordable solution for avionics limited only by your imagination and not your purse. SimCat 5 are only available from rcsimulations.com so pop over to www.rcsimulations.com and buy some today.